Is the new Autolock battery-powered airbrush any good? Well, let's unbox it and find out. I'm Ashley, and this is Elsa, and this is Chip Builds, and today we're going to take a look at this new airbrush. I do have the old one, and I do like it, but my hand would get cramped up using this kind of top trigger style, and this is a new trigger style, so I'm really excited to see how it's going to work. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife here and just cut through this film. I believe this cost about $60 on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. So right on top here, we have an um, instruction manual. Looks pretty good, pretty self-explanatory. And it has some like cleaning methods and stuff, so that's really cool. And then here is the new airbrush gun. And this is one of the reasons why I bought it and I was so excited. So it has this trigger style like this, as opposed to the old one where it has this kind of top. So here's the base. And what's really cool about this newer model is there's two different pressures that you can do. And this button here in the base will switch between the two power levels. I believe it's 20 PSI and 30 PSI. And so that's pretty cool as well. Once this thing is fully charged up, it will last about an hour and a half worth of battery. So let's screw this on and see if there's any battery in here. And there is. So that's cool. So I don't know if you can hear the difference. This is the lower and let's hit that button. And then that's the higher one. I think you can hear a difference in the motor, but I'm not sure if the camera will actually pick it up. But that is really exciting. One of the reasons why I'm so excited with this new style is because the battery is a little bit heavy. Uh, when I would hold the old one with the battery and I'd have to have my finger up here to do the trigger and stuff, uh, my hand would just cramp so easily because of the weight of it. And so now with this one, it should be much easier and my hand should not cramp up as much. So let's load this up. So then if we pull this out of the box, there is some accessories underneath here. This one does come with a very big container and it's kind of like nesting dolls in here. They have a smaller one. And then they even have this little baby one. I don't think I'm gonna find myself using the small one or the big one very often for what I do. I mostly use this to paint small things or apply finishes. So then in this little bag here, it has a charging cable and it's USB-C, which is really nice. And then it does come with some cleaning brushes and some O-rings. So I am going to screw on this medium kind of size container. And then with this one, I'm going to try and keep after this cap really well because with the original one, I lost the cap pretty easily. So without further ado, let's load this up with something and see what happens. So to test this thing out, we're going to fill this with some leather sealer because I mostly bought this new style because this is what I do the most. I do occasionally paint the smaller things, but this is the main thing. So I really want to see how this works. So I poured out some of that sealer into a smaller canister just so it's easier to do. And then I'm just going to pour it into here. And then now let's see what this thing can do. Now, if you want the spray to be bigger or smaller, you do turn this knob here. And I forgot to put the cap on. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. And then the nice thing is I got this Lazy Susan, so I can hit all the different edges. So basically what we're trying to do for this specific process is just sealing in uh, the char. And then we have a little bit left over, so I'm just gonna open this up and just pour the excess back inside. So I am gonna clean this up really quick just cause this is a bit of a thicker material and I don't want it to clog anything. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. That would be a future video. Overall, the new Autolock airbrush is super good. I love it. I highly recommend it. Now, if you're doing like airbrushing like every single day, multiple hours a day, I wouldn't recommend this. I would recommend that you just get a proper setup where you have the little air compressor separate from the airbrush. But if you're doing hobbyist things or just small quantity things uh, every so often, then I highly recommend this. This is perfect for crafters and for hobbyists. This thing is really amazing and I love this trigger style because my hand doesn't get cramped up from doing the overhead trigger. And I just feel like I have more control doing it this way as well. But as always guys, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or comments about it. And let me know if there's some other crafting tool that you want me to review. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe because that will help out a lot. See you guys.